Hi, this is Dmitry, driving to work, and today I wanted to talk about uh, Canon uh, SL2 and Canon T7i. Uh, I made a video not long ago about Canon SL2, about why I was not buying that camera. Um, I wanted to buy the camera, only $549, dual pixel technology, small camera. Uh, but then uh, I almost bought it, and then I noticed that the the grip on it, that that the buffer on it in the row was only five to six frames per second, and that was not acceptable to me. That was a deal breaker. Now some of you wrote comments to to me uh, saying that look, you can just switch to JPEGs and shoot JPEGs for continuous, uh, but uh, that's not acceptable either because a lot of times you're shooting in uh, challenging light, and if you shoot in challenging light, sometimes you do need to make adjustments uh, later. Sometimes you cannot use flash with every shot while shooting continuous out of focus it's not feasible or it's impossible and you would need to uh, you know you would need to do some adjustments uh, to files and uh, you know it's Canon JPEG files they're not as flexible as to say you know Fuji JPEG files uh, but in you know you don't have as much uh, headroom uh, for adjustments plus you know white balance and other things so you need the raw buffer 2017 gotta have some raw buffer so I bit the bullet and bought the next uh, small camera in 2017 the next one up $200 more for $750 you can get T7i in some markets it's 800d uh, T7i Canon actually same pr uh, pricing engine as SL2 uh, DG7 and you get uh, you get uh, a raw buffer of I believe uh, 26 or 28 shots uh, if you shoot raw and 21 if you shoot raw plus JPEG and at this point and that, that's actually pretty decent so you can shoot for over four seconds at full speed six frames per second on T7i uh, with no problems with Canon SL2 you can shoot for one second and then your buffer is good one second only uh, so I bit the bullet and I bought the T7i. I've had it for a week. I've been shooting it and I'm generally happy. Uh, the camera met my expectations. I cannot say that it exceeded my expectations, but it met my expectations. Uh, and I want to talk about the T7i a little bit more. It's not my first Canon camera. Uh, in fact, my first DSLR uh, was Canon 40D. My wife bought for me as a surprise gift for a wedding anniversary and 40G if you remember that camera uh, about nine or ten years ago um, and uh, that was my first DSLR and from that point on I had multiple DSLRs from multiple manufacturers but in Canon's I had uh, uh, I, I owned uh, you know 50D after that you know 7D all the rebels through T2i and I had the SL1 uh, I had uh, 70d i had 5d classic 5d mark 2 5d mark 3 for longest time and also had 6d I, you know i had all the nikons and multiple sony so i had a lot of cameras uh in the last 10 years uh, so you know i was looking for a crop canon camera and uh, here you go t7i and i've had it for a week and i've been shooting it and i'm generally happy with it uh, it met my expectations uh, in terms of uh, dual pixel technology, it's great. Uh, I like it. And it doesn't only help you in video, it helps you with uh, photography as well. And since the small cameras, uh, the cheaper Canon cameras do not have capacity for lens micro adjustment, and uh, you know, which doesn't always work anyway, uh, with the T7i and dual pixel technology, you basically can uh, solve the problem by shooting with your display and uh, all of a sudden all your, all, your, all your lenses are in focus, even Sigma lenses. <laughs> uh, in terms of the tracking, you got six frames per second and I've tried tracking by people moving toward me, away from me and running. Uh, the results are, as I said, acceptable but not exceeding my expectations. Uh, you get you will get some photographs in focus, some not in focus. Now, I, I, I've been spoiled. I, I own cameras like uh, uh, you know Nikon's D750 and uh, D500, and I currently own um, 
Sony A9 and even Fuji X-T2 and X-T20. Fuji X-T20, here's a camera for $899 as compared to, you know, Rebel 7i, $749. So $150 more, same buffer, about 20 to 30 shots per uh, at 8 frames per second. Now, T20i, uh, you will shoot a series of photos and you'll have all the photos in focus each and every time. The autofocus is really good. T7i not so good. I mean, you do get, you get, you know, you get some photos in focus, but I said, but it's not consistent. But it's acceptable and it's workable. Um, in terms of the image quality, I like it. Uh, it's pretty decent. I, I saw, you know, there is DxO has not tested specifically T7i, but the ATD was tested. Uh, Digix 6 similar. Uh, there is also pretty decent. Uh, and then the DX also tested M5, which has a similar uh, image processing and similar sensor to T7i. So I knew what to expect. And it's clearly better than my, my previous crop uh, Canon cameras, uh, clearly better than um, 70D. Uh, so I I'm happy with the p picture quality. Now, one thing I haven't tested yet, it was, uh, I haven't tested yet, uh, that uh, Canon claimed that it will focus in EV minus three. Uh, so I have not tested either continuous focus or, 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 or single other focus testing extensively in low light. And this is something that I'm yet to do. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna attach some um, photos that I've taken over the last week with the T7i. I can recommend this camera. Um, it's probably one of the best values in Canon lineup right now. I mean, you do get the 70, say so you have the 77D for a hundred bucks more for the display and an extra button. Uh, I, I've tr I played with both cameras and I decided that uh, 7i is good enough for me. And I can, you know, uh, I can, I, I'm, it's manageable and it's usable for me. So I can recommend T7i. Uh, I cannot recommend SL2 again because of the buffer issue. Thank you.